Good day to you ladies and gentlemen. Today we're going to take a look at our uh, new electronic logbook. We have Zoner with us over here. So we'll start by turning it on on the left top corner. There is a button. While it's loaded in I'm going to tell you this is going to be your login card. So on the back of it you have the operator's ID which is your username and you have the password that I've attached on the top. So if you learn it by heart or you don't want it, uh, you can remove it. Um, if you want it, you can keep it there. This card has to be with you at all times so that none of other drivers can log in under your name. So you keep it private to you. Now, you, we see the login screen on the zoner. Uh, one thing we have to do before we proceed is we have to turn the ignition on because the tablet needs access to your ECM and uh, also to your GPS on a truck. So now we have the ignition on, I can scan my card and I put my password. Now we are logged into our interface and we can so the first thing we'd like to do as we start our day is we'd like to make an inspection and also acknowledge the load that we're doing. Uh, for that, we'll have to turn our status uh, to own duty. Uh, this can be done both ways. You can go either here into duty status, which is straight on the screen. In here, you have the four options. One, two, three, four. You have off duty, slipper, berth, drive, and on duty. So if I'm doing my inspection, I would put here in the notes that this is an inspection. And then I'd click on duty and save. Now my status has changed from off duty to on duty so I can start performing my inspection and entering the load details. If I go to my log I can definitely see that I was off duty here as you see this line and now I went on duty. Another place uh, to change your duty status would be this left top menu in the corner as you see. So you'd click on that it will give you a couple of options the roadside view the update duty status trailer and load details driving exemption certify logs verify edits and uh, run self check so let's start for with the most important for us here which is update duty status so if i click on there i go back to the same screen as we saw before with off duty sleeper birth drive and on duty if I click off duty, we're going to have two options. We're going to have off duty and personal conveyance. Personal conveyance is a private time driving that you're allowed to. Um, so it's about 75 kilometers. And we can discuss it further um, when we meet in private. Um, it's a little bit complicated to explain how it works like this uh, to uh, include all the cases. So to continue, if I go back, I'm. I'm back on my screen and if I click again um, another very important thing for us is gonna be trailer and load details when we go in here what we're gonna see is um, basically um, trailer number here license plate and jurisdiction where it belongs to here we have for what we're shipping this is our trip number this is our commodity and this is who's the shipper so now example this was from a previous load that i did it just stood there so what i'll need to do now is i'll need to take to and remove this trailer from here because today i'm making a new trip and remove the load also because i delivered it now so what i'll do is i'm going here in the right top corner and there is a little plus so here i can choose what i want to do first thing i'm pinning the trailer so i'm gonna put that i'm pinning a trailer seven zero eight four license plate is r x five three six seven for example now I have to find their jurisdiction is Quebec 
and I save. Everything that you guys do uh, as for change, status, trailer, load, everything that you change has to be saved. If you didn't save it, basically you didn't keep it in the system. So it's like if you were doing nothing. So now I have to add the load. I added my trailer, now I go for a load, continue. So example, my trip is one eight one two four three so i do that now i go to commodity i put as what the commodity is example we pull in some paper and uh, also who is the shipper well so i'd say kruger is a shipper i press my back button i verify everything is there yes and i press save so now my information is saved i can proceed so now i have my trailer I'm still on duty. Um, I can uh, start doing the inspection, so I'll begin for the inspection. Now let's see what other options we have under Zlog menu. We have roadside view. What roadside view is is a view for a police officer or any other officer that might request your logbook. So here you have all your logs saved and you can go back um, I think at least two weeks and see all of your logs so you have trip numbers you have the trailers that you pulled and you have all your times and I can click on any day it's gonna show me nothing has been done before so it shows me empty otherwise like today it was some stuff entered and all the logs are there whatever you did so this is a special view now when you're gonna get out of here it's gonna ask you again for a pin this is because it was in somebody else's hands and they were not allowed to make any changes. So now, since it's back in your hands, you can put your password and now you can do all kind of changes that you want. But when you give it to an officer, you give it in a roadside view. All right. Now, another thing is the menu here, the driving exemptions. The driving exemptions, you can read on FMCSA website so if it's adverse driving conditions you click continue and you proceed what it does it basically extends your 11 hours driving into 13 hours driving due to the adverse conditions but it does not extend your 14 hour day so basically you can drive longer so this is made for unexpected things example uh, you were going back home and it's a place where usually there is no rush hour traffic there is nothing going on but all of a sudden there is a huge accident everything is closed you have to make a detour or you have to slow down so this is an adverse condition which can uh, give you a little extra driving time on the top of your 11 hours but I want to stress one more time it doesn't extend your 14 hour day so if you are in adverse conditions this might help you a little bit but it is not gonna be a day-to-day -day thing because nothing like this is happening every day now uh, we can also check a uh, couple of things on here uh, you have today or eight day so if I'd be looking at my eight days I can check it this way all the last eight days what I did looks like I did nothing that's because I did nothing so now there is another way of seeing things is grid or list if I put list it's gonna state all the changes that I've made from my statuses so on duty off duty slipper birth personal conveyance you name it everything is here step by step so I can view it like this if you like very detailed or you can view it in grid right so the same you can do for eight days you can go in the list and you're gonna see all your eight days in the list so these are two options now another thing to look at is uh, our uh, rule set so for us we're gonna be using us property 60 which is gonna give us 11 hours drive-in 
14 hour day and 60 hour week as you see on the top this is already elapsed here my 14 hour day and my 60 hours because I've played here a bit okay so now uh, this is gonna show me when my next next rest break supposed to be taken right and uh, another thing if I'm crossing into Canada I'd be liking to change this into Canadian cycle 60 and you're gonna see this 11 hours that we had before is gonna change for 13 hours driving here now you see this is a Canadian rule so that's how you switch in between now I'm gonna be uh, switching myself off duty example I have delivered and I'm stopping and I'm going to sleep so I'd be choosing the update duty status and I'll go to slipper berth and notes uh, whatever you want if you need to put notes but uh, just put sleep and save always hit save you didn't hit save you didn't do anything so this is one very important thing to do um, so as you see now my slipper berth time starts right here now uh, if i want to put my duty status of duty i press of duty i have two choices i have personal convince and of duty so i'll be pressing of duty apply and once again save you didn't save you didn't do nothing i should also remind you that driving status for drive it's gonna click you automatically once you start going so what you have to remember is when you start going it's automatic but when you stop it's manual so if you stopped and you shut down the engine but you didn't put yourself off duty or in a sleeper berth or on on duty status if you are the customer example loading or something like this then you didn't save it you didn't do nothing so it's gonna click you driving still so this way it's gonna use up all your hours because you forgot to click and uh, we'll have to do the changes and uh, then it's uh, it's not very very good to do that so guys don't forget to hit save all the time now let's take a look at the GPS so for the GPS I'll have to slide the page and I have to go click on the GPS now the very important thing number one thing that you will have to do is you go to routing and you choose the vehicle routing profiles from the vehicle routing profiles you have to choose the heavy-duty property which is about your truck 53 foot 13 feet 6 inches high clearance 102 inches wide and 80,000 pounds weight that you can scale any other options will might lead you to a low bridge to a street you're not allowed on to residential areas and so forth so you make sure you click on a heavy duty and confirm it now it's on a heavy duty and I go back now I'm finished with my profile for the truck, for the heavy duty truck. Now I have to put my address in, so I'll go to address. Enter city name or zip code. I'll enter city name Montreal. Enter street name. I'll enter Pascal Gagnon as a street. Pascal Gagnon as enter a street. House number. And we'll put 8990 Pascal Gagnon. It's going to give us the closest one, it is 9020 Pascal Gagnon. So now. I make sure it's heavy duty. Yes, I go back and I click on a map. Approaching 9020 Pascal Gagnon on the left. Now you're on. Now it tells you exactly how to get where you want to go. Before I finish my day, I'm here already. Example finished doing everything. And um, here I'm ready um, to take off and go home. So uh, one thing I'm going to do is um, I'm gonna click on my logs I'm gonna go into my menu I'm gonna see what kind of trailers and load details I have and 
I'm gonna remove that all because I'm not carrying anything no more now I remove that I go right away and I update my driving status I'm on duty now I'm in the yard as, as you could see now I'm gonna click off duty arrival to B and B of duty and I'm gonna save it now you see it went from on duty back to off duty so now what I'm gonna do is I'm off duty I'm gonna log myself out before I turn the engine off I'm logged out now I can shut the tablet you can hold the power button you hold it long enough and it will power off now it's powering off I can shut down the engine that's it another thing um, when a dispatcher makes uh, changes in your logbook or corrections or uh, wherever it might be then on the next login uh, you will be asked to verify and uh, confirm the changes so if it might happen when you click on the screen or you can scroll it down and as you see it's gonna say here Tony has changes to verify after he verifies the changes there will be some logs to confirm so if I press on a log it might just pop that window up that you have logs edits to verify so click continue now it tells me that here and here they were changes done so if I agree to those changes I press verify verify and after you verify the logs it might ask you to certify the logs so you'd see a menu here um, for certification yes or no so if you agree with the changes you certify it and uh, it's uh, basically you certify all the logs from before to uh, say that yes those are the logs thank you for your attention guys and have yourself a good day